Almighty God, grant us the courage of Jesus Christ, your Son, to face the coronavirus pandemic with trust, strength, compassion, and resiliency. Give us the grace of the Holy Spirit to free us from fear and anxiety so we may do actions of help and support and look forward to our healing with hope. We pray for the health workers, food liners, maintenance cleaners, logistics abler, government leaders, and volunteers who continuously come together to deliver our daily needs to survive. Guide us from this time of crisis, preserve us in peace, protect the weak and vulnerable, and those who serve the society during this pandemic. This we ask and pray in Jesus' name, our Savior. Amen. Nagahatid saya sa mga Pinoy, mga kantang tatak Pinoy. Kahit nasan ka man, kami ay mapapakinggan. Streaming worldwide, the future of radio in Manila, California, and Hong Kong. This is V81 Radio. Malayo ka man sa iyong pamilya, dito ay hindi ka nag-iisa. Kaya ito'y iyong hahanap-hanapin Dahil ito ang nagpapasaya sa and opinions expressed in the following program are those of the program anchors and producers and do not necessarily reflect the policies and position of this station. 
Here now is the program for the millennials that will showcase young professionals' worth, aspirations, and successes in doing what they believe is right, progressive, and inclusive. Join them as they discover the path to self and societal fulfillment while making a difference. Hosted by empowered and cool millennial, Terry comes on together with her fellow millennials. They will be making a difference. Good afternoon, everyone. You are now tuned in to Making a Difference, a show created to inspire and motivate the youth of the day. I am your host and online friend, Erica Mukon. So last week, I invited a youth organization called One Million Lux. So they are an organization that provides solar-powered light to those communities here in the Philippines that have no access to light. If you want to know more about what they do and maybe volunteer for them, you can actually watch the previous episode, which is on Facebook, on VAT1 Radio Facebook, and on the show Facebook. You can actually, or you could actually send them a message um, on Facebook and Instagram. Again, they're called One Million Likes. So for this week's episode, we would happen to take it down or not. Um, I invited three young professionals in different fields, and we're going to ask them their thoughts and opinions on the whole ECQ, MECQ, and even GCQ that's happening right now in our country. So if you have any comments or things that you want to say, go ahead, please comment. I'll try to read them as much as possible, or if you have any questions for my guests today, go ahead again, comment, and we'll try to, well, I'll try to have them answer your questions. So for our first guest, we have the CEO and co-founder of Guerrilla 360 Integrated Solutions. His name is Nathan Nakar. May we have, have a Nathan? Hi. Uh, Nate Nakar, Hi. sorry. Hi. Hi. Thanks for Hi. having me to the 81 Radio. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you also for accepting my invitation to talk today. So anyway, so Nate, where you graduated from and how you got to being the CEO and co-founder of Guerrilla 360. Right. Well, so I graduated in 2014. I graduated from CSB. Um, I, I took constant diplomatic affairs. So it's really more in international politics. Um, but I, I worked for a while. Right. I worked for a while. It, it wasn't really a full time job, but I tried to work in this um, finance company. Um, mm -hmm. But then I realized that um, the whole startup technology game was where I wanted to be. And uh, the reason why is because the growth of startups in Southeast Asia is moving at a very, very fast rate. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Like the Philippines, uh, in terms of the number of uh, tech companies booming in the Philippines, you can tell that. Um, with a lot of these different like online e-commerce players, right? So um, that was one thing that I wanted to do. And so I started out with one tech company before Guerrilla 360 with okay. my previous partners. Mm -hmm. um, but then, so it's practic uh, basically the same services. Where, um, we, we built different websites, mobile applications, basically digital services for different clients, right? And then... Uh, my partners in the in that business decided to pursue other things, and I did as well. And so, um, a few years later, I think around five years later, I decided to work with my my partner now, Randall Few, and we built Guerrilla Three Hundred and Sixty together. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. great. It's good. It's really nice to hear, you know, stories of the youth coming up with different ideas and trying to adapt to today's society. So. What is Guerrilla 360? What kind of um, services do you offer to your right. client? So Guerrilla 360 is a business solutions provider, right? So essentially what we do is that we provide um, a suite of different solutions um, catering to different clients from healthcare to logistics to manpower, okay. um, human resource companies. So what we do is that we work with different companies and we try to understand what their problems are and what we can do to automate certain issues. So take, for example, if you are a, you know, a brick and mortar company looking to sell online, looking to you know, make a dent online, right? You consult with people like us 
we work with you on the strategy, uh, like on the strategy level, um, on the business side, and most especially on building that platform, right? Um, we also do a lot of outsourcing projects for different uh, companies, both in the Philippines and outside of the Philippines. So we deal with, yeah, it's it's a it's it's pretty much bespoke and customized depending on what the client needs. Okay, so do you um, target a specific type of company, or are you open to any companies? Well, um, so it, it really depends. We normally only really take on a project if we feel that it's it's a mutually beneficial. Um, you know, on our end, it's really about long-term growth. So we don't necessarily use like an industry per se or like um, a type of service as our metric to say whether we want to accept the client. It's really about the long, the longevity of the relationship um, because we consider all of our clients as strategic partners in a way. Because of a lot of the a lot of the deals that we do with clients involves um, like revenue share projects, right? So if let's say for example. I'll give you an example. One client of ours in the healthcare space here in the Philippines, um, we're building them a, a, a booking system for their doctors, for example, right? Um, or right? we also sell their memberships online for their healthcare services. And we, had a, we, we have a strategic partnership there, right? Um, not necessarily like an equity partnership, but really more on like we help them digitalize their services. Another, another arrangement can also be when we work with different clients is um we we do we build them like a business process um and we we have like a bpo just for their um staff right so they they outsource their staff to the philippines and then we're the ones who, who build and manage that so it's really very customized right and we focus on the long-term relationship with the client okay so given everything that's happening right now as yeah. ceo and co-founder Right. How is your company coping up with the whole ECQ, MECQ situation? The right. Philippines? right. It, I mean, I think because we're very used to having an office. We have close to, I believe, 20 people right now. Um, I think we're 18 officially, okay. um, not including Randolph and myself. No. Um, and so it, we were very used to just working with our, with our team members, with our employees, um, in the office, instant validation. You can brainstorm with a with your team. But then I guess the issue that we're facing quite a lot now is, is that they also have their own responsibilities at home, right? They have to take care of their families. They have to they have to cook. They have to go grocery shopping. Um, so it's been quite difficult, right? I have to say, but it's we we, we definitely understand. It's it's um it can't be helped, right? Um, as much as possible, we just try to adapt, right? And then we, we work with our clients in, in letting them know that it's it's not as easy. Uh, so yeah, it's it's quite difficult. Okay. But you know, digital like we're we're essentially a tech company, so I mean, working online it's, it's also okay. We meet every day, so you know, yeah. the, all these platforms enable us to to work well. So it's okay. okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I was actually about to ask you. Maybe you could share like what your daily schedule with them is like. Sure. Um, so we, I wake up at around um, depends. Sometimes I wake up at seven a.m. Some, uh, but most of the time it's around eight eight thirty, and then we have uh, a morning. We call it the daily stand up. So we have um, a DSU, a daily stand up with like all of our team members, right? Because. Um, we have different team members handling specific clients, right? And so myself and Randolph and also our director, Mark, uh, we work with the with everyone. We get a brief of what of of all the projects so far, like everything that's been accomplished, right? So we do that and then normally all throughout the day already it's all client meetings. Um and then meetings also with the with the employees. Yeah. So you, um with regards to your clients, um yeah. So far, um, they're still, how do I say this? They're still like adapting as well. Yeah. Like your relationship, how is your relationship now with your clients? Do you feel that it, it's stronger or is it just the same? It's, 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 um, that's a good question actually. Well, I'd say it would depend, right? Because for some clients, now they feel a lot more pressure to get things done, right? Mm -hmm. 
so the pressure you know gets you know uh, we're the ones feeling the pressure with them also right and that's that's okay because we're we're strategic partners as i mentioned but uh for some clients also it's it's been tough on their end and it's affected their business and so we as a solutions provider have to adjust so with a, a lot of our clients also we've been giving like leeway in terms of payment terms and uh in terms of providing some clients discounts also things like that so yeah we have to adjust hmm. that, that's true that that's i guess that's like the word for today really adjust everybody adjust. right now is adjusting is adapting to to yeah. what's happening right now but so how about you though nate um where were you when you found out that the uh that metro manila is gonna go on the lockdown do you still I remember i was um i was probably with my business partner randolph and then we were we were deciding what to do we were coming up with plans on on how we were going to execute this thing yeah mm -hmm. i was um i i i i'm all for it i think it's it's a must right i think it's a must i think it's it's you know i it's the, it's a global standard that's what all the countries are doing and so yeah i i'm all for it we just all have to adjust it's going to affect a lot of people um and a lot of people have been affected the economy's been been affected right small businesses like myself also right but i think at this point there really is no other way um but i think we should work more on like the mass testing but yeah mm -hmm. I'm, i'm all for it i'm okay it's a it's a must yeah yeah this is okay so as co-founder and ceo of guerrilla 360 do you already have uh, a plan let's say after the whole ECQ yeah. um are you guys going to slowly um go back to the office or will you still keep this set up so now that our team is getting um well i wouldn't say we're getting bigger <laughs> um we're slowly getting there we have close to 20 employees already so what we're going to be doing and our office is not really that big it's probably about 50 square meters So we're going to um it's going to half of the people are going to you know it's it's go, they're going to be having the like MW some people are MWF some people are Tuesday Wednesday Friday mm -hmm. so we're going to slowly integrate them we're not going to all go to the office all at once even even the partners in the company the directors like myself Randolph and Mark we're not always going to be there together so it's it's pretty much divide and conquer for everyone in Guerrilla 360 yeah Okay, how about um in terms of handling the clients? Do you have um a protocol for that especially after the uh lockdown? Yeah, we're dealing with clients now. A lot of our meetings are going to have to be online because um a lot of the employees also commute, right? And so I don't want to expose both my my employees and, and myself as well, right? We don't want to do that as much as possible. So we're we're definitely going to have more online meetings as opposed to physical meetings. Um but definitely like we're all the all of our everyone in the mem all the members of Guerrilla 360 they're all going to be equipped with the, the ma masks and uh, gloves every all the essential things they need to yeah on a daily basis. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well anyways, thanks for sharing Thank your you. thoughts and your opinions i mean i'm sure um everyone was curious to know how you'd handle a ceo and i think so far you're you're handling it pretty well so okay. props to you <laughs> all right yeah, so we're gonna go on break for a few minutes but don't leave just yet we have two more guests the next guest will be somewhat interesting so we'll be back after a few announcements Okay, we're still on <laughs> live. Okay, so we'll be back shortly. Make a difference only here on V81 Radio, South Manila. My items can I gustong ibenta or planning to buy something specific? 
visit PinoyAds.ph A free online classified ads na available to all. Post an ad para sa item that you want to sell. Or browse through the listing to find out what you're looking for. Connect with the community to explore, discover, buy and sell. Be the boss of every transaction sa PinoyAds.ph After this pandemic, let's support the Filipino community. Buy local. Visit local. Go local. Benta, a Pinoy e-commerce site made for you. Enjoy hassle-free shopping with multiple payment options available. May local support then, ready to assist, so you can enjoy peace of mind when you shop. Visit our website to check different product offerings. Get anything you want and avail everything you need in just one click. Big Benda, Pinoy e-commerce, made for you. After this pandemic, let's support the Filipino community. Buy local, visit local, go local. Kabayan, nangungkumsik ka ba? I-download na ang aming mobile app at mag-enjoy sa mga kantang Tatak Pinoy and feel like you're home. The V81 Radio Mobile App, available in the App Store and Google Play Store. V81 Radio Mobile App, free now, free forever. Tunog Pinoy, Tatak Pinoy. The future of radio. This is your all hits, all Pinoy internet radio station. This is V81 Radio. Worldwide. Ito ang paborito ng bawat Pilipino. Basta all hits, all Pinoy, panalo. Merong kwentong iyakan at tawanan. Kahit nasaan ka man, ito'y magpapakinggan. Radio.